Hi Aquarius, what's up? This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. If you do need a personal reading, that information is going to be down below in the description box as this is not going to resonate with every Aquarius watching this video. Damn! <clears throat> Ten of Wands with the Tower here. Did you break up, Aquarius? Looks like a relationship to me which was becoming more of a burden, you know. You released, you let the lay off the situation. You could have felt very lonely in the relationship, you know. Almost like I, one person was doing all the work, taking the entire load of the relationship. And with the tower here, you could have had a realization of some sort and you just let it go. This is releasing burdens. It was a very draining energy, you know. Where Again, I'm feeling this one person here, Chris. Could be you, could be them. But one person was holding the entire um, relationship on their shoulders okay and they had no support from the other person and they were fed up and tired of it exhausted burnt out and i think with the tower moment here right you let it go it was unexpected <clears throat> something was unexpected and a, a very big shock but yeah you let the tower fall that's for sure you let the tower fall could be someone who was not ready to express their emotions someone who didn't want to be vulnerable to you Ace of Cups, yeah, and now they want to be vulnerable. You want to let this, you let this person go, okay, and now this person's coming in. They're coming in to make things happen with you, okay. They're ready to make things happen with you. This person is now ready to open up. Magician, right? They're ready to take this risk. They're willing to take an opportunity with you, willing to take that action. They're going to use everything, okay? Someone's in full-blown manifestation mode. The moment you let them go, right? They're coming in full speed. Like, they're hell-bent on making things happen with you. Someone who was closed off to you, okay? You were very disappointed with this person, okay? You could have been very shut down to this person. Or also, this person could have been shut down to you, okay? Now, they're ready to open up, like I said, right? They want a new beginning with you in love. Ready to redo this relationship. But are you going to let them in? I don't think so. I don't think so. You're standing your ground. You're holding your ground. I don't think you're going to let them in so easily. No. See, from the 10, we're going to 7, right? It's getting better. I'm thinking you're probably going to give them a chance, right? But it's like, you know, trust issues, right? You're not going to be like, oh, yeah, you can just walk in and waltz into my life anytime you want. No, I don't think you're going to let them do that. They're going to have to break down your walls. Because that's a very determined energy. That's like, I'm going to stand my ground, okay? You fucked up before and I don't trust you one bit. So yeah, you're going to keep their, your distance from this person. You probably are going to start talking to them, okay? Because with the nine of pentacles here, okay? You realize your worth and value. You realize how good you are. You realize how cool you are. You have a very strong, um, independent uh, sense, you know? Um, you're someone who realizes that you can balance your work life and love life. You're someone who doesn't need anyone, okay? You're living your best life. Financial independence, absolutely independent on your own. <clears throat> living, like I said, right? Living a luxurious life, taking care of yourself, very focused on finances is what I'm getting, okay? I think that's what you are. You're focused on your finances and your independence at the same time, okay? And you don't want anyone coming and messing it up this time. It's the empress here. They want abundance with you. They look at you as marriage material. They see how fulfilling you were, okay? They see that you had a, brought a lot of balance in their life. The empress is wanting to create something new. They want this with you, empress. This is marriage. This is commitment. This is something stable, long-term, abundance, creating something new. They want to restart with you. And this time they're coming in with that emotional happiness, okay? Opening up talking to you about their feelings but you're not very open to that but yeah they see you as the empress here okay they see you as a button absolutely on your own now they feel very codependent on you maybe you were a little clingy needy and or maybe i'm thinking once you over exhausted yourself you gave into this person to a point of exhaustion you put themselves you put them first okay and now you're putting yourself first and they're coming in they're coming in to talk to you. They want to confront you. Probably you're avoiding this person, right? You block them, like I said, right? Could have blocked them on social media, but they want to try and find ways to come and talk to you. 
five of swords you don't trust them see i'm getting that again and again and again you don't trust this person you feel the need to stand up for yourself because you've already walked away from this person's mind games once okay you feel the need to protect i don't know why i'm getting protect yourself as in literally like this person could have played a lot of mind games with you there were serious conflicts with you and then probably an abusive connection or you know someone who was just you know never ready to open up suppressing their emotions when you wanted to talk to them about what the connection or what was wrong they always shut you down you know and they probably drove you away you know literally they literally drove you away by they sabotage this connection yeah that's the word they sabotage this connection and now they're open to having a dialogue with you okay they're open to communication with you 10 of pentacles they want this with you they want that 10 of pentacles they want that stability something stable something committed seven of swords <clears throat> i think they're um still a little deceptive okay and probably this is what you think also about them okay seven of swords is someone being deceptive someone who's lying but could be someone who withhold their feelings from you or again i'm getting that you could be very very careful about this person don't know why he can trust but queen of pentacles your focus is you you're only focused on you the money the stability the security the home the family whatever it is the kids you're being very practical about this 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 person okay you're not going to be driven into emotions anymore The Empress is also someone who's gone through a lot of shit, yeah, and she also thinks very logically. She's not like that emotional person. She takes care of herself, you know, and she's got her self worth in place. She knows what she's worth. So yeah, like you literally taught them how to treat you. And with the Seven of Swords, I think they're going to want to sneak in. They're trying to sneak in. They're acting very strategically when it comes to you. They want a reconciliation. this person wants to come back to you big time okay and really bad again the magician they're going to take everything that they need or everything that they can to do to manipulate the situation and get you back that's reuniting reconciliation they want a new beginning with you okay that's it. i have all upright cards here but this fell in the reverse okay but okay fine i'm just going to take it i think you are still clinging on to the past memories And this is someone from your past who's coming back. Six of Cups in reverse means do you still want them back? It's again a question. It's like a huge question mark. Do you still want this person back? Maybe you're still clinging on to the memories from the past, okay? Like the good old days that you had with this person. Has this person still changed? Something like that. But yeah, this is holding a grudge. See, that's what I'm getting. You're holding a grudge against this person. There's something that you're not over. You're not letting all go of those um, memories that hurt you, right? Eight of Pentacles. They're very focused on your work. They're very focused on your work because you've ended things with this person. But this person wants another chapter with you. Maybe this person wants to come in and they're ready to put in the work, right? But your card is high up. I don't know how they're going to get them back, but they're coming back for sure. They're coming back. They see you as their soulmate. You see them as your soulmate. But again, it's like that bitterness that's there, which is a like a blockage here. either you haven't healed from your past they haven't healed from their past but see queen of wands they see you in that fiery energy you know they're very attracted to you very attracted to you they feel you have all the power in you to let them go maybe you because see with the 10 of wands you're right you went through this long tiring road with them okay tens are endings right so it's ending a cycle so it started from the one ended to the ten so which means you went a long way with this person okay you were taking it and taking it and taking it till you couldn't completely you know and you'll have to let, like literally re ready to let it go queen of wands you're in this mode right now you don't know what to do with this person you literally don't when this person comes in confronts you whatever right you don't know what to do with this person this person is going to get you very confused you're like um i don't know I'm not sure if I should take you back because I'm the empress and I got what I need, you know. I'm that I'm like this go-getter. Can you match up to my energies? This person could have really screwed you over big time, right? Like they really really hurt you or this could be someone who has issues from their past relationships and they're bringing in that trauma in this relationship and that's when they screwed up this potential. That's why the seven of swords here, in and out, right? Constantly trying to run away from commitment, or trying to run away from opening themselves up, you know, or trying to, uh, um, you know, uh, put up this um, 
um, you know, that fakeness, you know, putting up, putting up a show of like, you know, they're not very serious about you or whatever, having fears of opening up anything. And they see you walking away and they're not very happy about it. They regret it. It's like, dude, did I let like a real good girl or a real good guy like me? Oh, King of Pentacles. They're coming back with that solid commitment. And they're going to tell you with their words, King of Swords. They're super clear about it. They're very clear about what they want. My problem here is, are you going to let go of that grudge? Are you going to let your guards down? Are you? I'm not very sure about that because you feel the need to, you know, guard yourself from this person. But they're coming in with that solidarity, okay, with that longevity. They want something stable with you because they see you as someone, you know, who doesn't really need them. You know, you probably even have a lot of suitors. You're sexy. You're good on your own. You know, you have that passion. You're a good businessman, whatever it is, right? But they see you in good light with the Empress and the Queen of Wands, you you're taking off care of yourself, etc. But they want this reconciliation. They want to get back to you. Maybe they friend zoned you in the past, okay? And you, for you, it's like, you know, I've had enough. I'm not messing with this <clears throat> energy anymore. Seven of Swords, I'm getting someone who keeps ghosting you also. You know, it could be someone who ghosts you, okay? And now they're returning back. They're very guilty. And now they're going to be very strategic about their moves towards you. They're guilty. They're coming back. Seriously, I feel they're feeling very guilty about whatever happened. They're coming up. They're coming back. Sorry. They are. King of Swords. They're going to tell you. This is clear communication. This is using their logic. They're going to keep their emotions on the side. And they're going to tell you what the truth is. Two of Wands, it's going to be up to you. It's going to be up to you to make a decision about whether you want this person or not. I'm getting this for every reading. All the ones who've been cheated, lied to, or broken up, or whatever it is, right? All the people are coming back, and everyone's indecisive. I don't see anyone who's just quickly, like, taking the other person back. You know, it's like, man, I'm in two months, you know, I don't know. You're going to be at a crossroads when this person comes with clarity, okay? Or this could also be you, that your approach towards this person is going to be very strict. They're very stern, but firm, you know? Like, you want to be firm, stern, but fair. You want to say to that you're making a very logical decision? That's why two of wands here, right? You need to make a very detached decision. I feel you're half and half out. You're not very sure about this person. You're, you know, you haven't left the building as yet, but it was a very disappointing situation. But I feel that you're almost there. And that's when this person completely stops you just before you step out of the building. Like, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Can we, can we please make this happen again? That's what I have for you. I hope you. Uh, I hope this reading resonates with you. And do like, share, subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Next time. Bye bye.